In this video, I'm going to discuss why you might not want to work with 17 hats and some alternatives that you might want to check out. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer, and I love to teach people how to create and run successful businesses, especially in the wedding industry. So a big key to that is having good systems in place. And if you've been using 17 hats, um, I'll go over some of the reasons that you might not be loving them right now and some other systems you might want to check out. There's three systems that are really similar to 17 hats as far as capabilities. And I have some videos that go more in depth and more granular on these, uh, but that would be Dubsado, HoneyBook, and Hello Bonsai. And then there's two other systems called Rock, Paper, Coin, and Client Joy that I'll show you for other reasons as well. I do have discount codes for 17 hats and all the other systems, so you wanna check those out. Some of these can get you up to a free year of membership, which is awesome, so definitely check those out. Now, the number one reason I feel like people might not wanna work with 17 hats is just the price. Personally, I think having these systems in place is definitely worth it, and the more you grow, the more worth it it's going to be. However, if you're not quite ready for that and you want something that is a little bit less expensive, then I have two systems to recommend, which are Rock, Paper, Coin and Client Joy. Client Joy is set up to be less of a kind of client facing where there's lots of like file sharing and forms and questionnaires. Um, and it's more about just your internal systems lead activity. Um, they're going to have a lot of information on your proposals and your items and your calendar, um, your clients. You can do some new automations and emailing sequences and things like that. Um, but it's not going to have as much of that like sharing and portal and that kind of stuff for your clients. Um, however, they do integrate with a ton, a ton, like thousands of other systems. And they also have a free forever plan with all, all their basic features, a lot of the stuff I just showed you. So if price is the number one issue, definitely check out Client Joy and they're coming with new improvements like every week with Client Joy. Another great one is Rock Paper Coin. Um, it will end up being a monthly fee eventually, but with my link, you can actually get a free year and it's a little bit less than some of the others. Uh, Rock Paper Coin also processes their own payment and they try to keep that as low as possible. So it's actually 2.5%, which is lower than any of the other systems that you might see um, that are popular in the market. So definitely if price is your main concern, um, check out one of these. Rock Paper Coin is designed with more wedding creatives in mind. So there's connectivity with other vendors. Uh, you can do your contracts, invoices, you can do a lot of folder sh uh, and file sharing. And what I love about that part is that they are Google Drive integrated so you can upload files and folders directly from Google Drive to your clients and also to your company. So it's a little bit simpler of a system, but I do think it's a great starter option, especially if price is a huge concern. Check out that free year you can get because that's an incredible deal. Another complaint I hear with 17 hats is just that setup is daunting. You have to get all of your information in, you have to get your forms set up, your automation set up, etc. There's so many features here. And if setup is a big issue, I'd also recommend Rock Paper Coin because everyone who signs up gets this free white glove onboarding. And so any of your templates and things, your branding information, they're going to upload it for you. Another thing here is that Rock Paper Coin just doesn't have as much customization as a system like 17 hats. So there is going to be less setup just because there's slightly fewer features as well. So they don't have forms, um, they don't have questionnaires, they don't have quite as much customization on a client portal, etc. So when you see that daunting setup, just remember it's because of a lot of the awesome features. And once you get everything set up in a system like 17 hats, um, Dubsado, HoneyBook, and Hello Bonsai are very, very similar and very similar with setup, then you will definitely appreciate having set that up and you'll be really glad because you won't have to do it again. So it is a one-time setup and then you're kind of honing and fixing things as you go, not having to do that mass amount of work. But if you're interested in a system that you can get up and running in a couple of days, um, check out Rock Paper Coin. I think you'll like it. Now, if you're not scared of the setup and you're wishing that 17 Hats had more customization, then I would recommend Dubsado. I think it's one of the more customizable systems out there and all their forms have this HTML block. So if you are interested in coding or you're willing to pay someone to code, or if you want to look into Dubbins, which is like plugins that do some of the coding for you, I have another video on that, then you can really customize your forms 
in kind of a crazy way. And with their new form builder, which I, again, have a, <laughs> have a whole video on this, um, there is more customization than you might have seen in the past if you check this out. So you'll be able to um, kind of change the background of things to different colors uh, or to a picture with text over it and things like that. So I love Dubsado's kind of customization. And then they have a little bit more on the portal and brand customization than I think some of the other systems do. HoneyBook has now introduced something called uh, Smart Files, which allows, it's kind of, it kind of is like their old brochure template a little bit, but you can include like proposals and invoices and contracts and stuff in this, and you can really customize this. So this is like a design proof and it's several pages and you can upload your images and change your brand settings and just do so much customization here. So I think Smart Files in HoneyBook have allowed a little bit more customization, uh, but aren't necessarily, I still think Dubsado has a little bit of an edge on customization, but definitely 17 Hats is lacking in some of this. It's it's a beautiful system. It works really well, but it's not necessarily going to be able to look like it came from your brand. It's always going to look a little bit like it came from a different brand or a system that you use that has its own kind of settings. Even if you change the colors a little, you can do more customization in both Dubsado and in HoneyBook. Now, if you can't use 17 Hats payments or don't want to use 17 Hats payments, what are the other options for you? Dubsado connects with uh, Stripe, PayPal and Square. So you can use any of those options to receive payment. HoneyBook is its own payment processor, kind of similar to uh, 17 Hats. It's processed through Stripe, but you do everything in HoneyBook. You don't have to use a separate Stripe account. Uh, Bonsai has its own system called Bonsai Payments. Uh, there's also Stripe and PayPal here. Rock Paper Coin is its own system, and as I mentioned, they try to keep their credit card payments really low. And then Client Joy has a few more options, so PayPal and Stripe, which we've been seeing, but they also accept Payoneer, Razor Pay, and Instamojo. Like I said, they integrate with a lot of things. So if that is something that's really important to you, um, like if you need to use Payoneer, definitely go with Client Joy. Um, if you really want to use PayPal, then there's a few systems that use it. So just some options there on the payment processing. I know that's an issue that some people have if they can't or don't want to use 17 hats for some reason. And lastly, I think workflows is the biggest miss in my opinion with 17 hats. It's not that it's bad. They just don't have some of the capabilities that you can see in other templates. So let's test out this workflow. Oof, I cannot type today. <laughs> All right, so the different actions they have are sending an email, questionnaire, quote, contract invoice, um, start workflow, change calendar, archive, or add and remove tags. And their triggers are kind of after activating the workflow, before the base date, on the base date, or after the base date. And so this is kind of where I see a miss here, um, and specifically in comparison to Dubsado. When we go into the workflows here in Dubsado, you'll see a lot of similar actions. They have a few more, but it's not too crazy. But I think this is where we have a big difference is that the triggers are a lot more robust. So instead of just doing the project start and end dates, you can uh, trigger something after a form is completed or an invoice is paid or a contract is signed, an appointment is scheduled or an appointment has completed. So if someone schedules something with you, you can go ahead and send them like a thank you follow-up email after the appointment, before the appointment's even started. Um, and I love this one, which is after a form is not completed. So if you send a form and five days go by and they haven't completed it yet, you can send them like a reminder email or expiring the project or like whatever you want to do after that form is not completed. So they just have a lot more triggers here. So I think if workflow is your number one thing and you really want to dive into automation um, with these workflows, then Dubsado is, in my opinion, the most robust option. Now, one thing that I think is typically a miss with these systems is bookkeeping, but I do like the bookkeeping in 17 Hats because you can connect a lot of accounts. One of the issues I have with like Dubsado or HoneyBook is that their reporting only includes what's brought into Dubsado or HoneyBook. So if you collect payments in other ways, like from your website, if people pay you um, in person via check and you cash it into a regular bank account, none of that is being captured there. So it's just very limiting as far as what reports you're actually getting. However, in 17 Hats, you can actually uh, connect a bunch of different accounts um, and use them to categorize all of your expenses and income. So I think it's actually a pretty good bookkeeping feature. Um, the only other one that I think compares with 17 Hats on a bookkeeping capability is 
Hello Bonsai, they have some accounting features where you can add in those additional accounts. You also can uh, send this to your accountant, which I think is really, really cool. And depending on which plan you have, you actually can have it help you file your taxes and remind you of your quarterly estimates, um, file your schedule C, et cetera, all through Hello Bonsai. So I do think Hello Bonsai is a little bit more robust depending on which plan you have, um, but 17 Hats actually has great bookkeeping. So if you're looking at bookkeeping options, um, definitely Dubsado and HoneyBook are gonna be more limited as well as Rock, Paper, Coin, and Client Joy, which don't really have any bookkeeping capabilities at this time. So if this video was helpful in addressing some of your concerns with 17 Hats and where you might find a system that better fits you, I have a whole playlist on all these systems and some more granular comparisons. If you want to go into what differentiates 17 Hats from one of these systems in particular, uh, if you're looking for an alternative to 17 Hats for a reason I didn't discuss here, put it in the comments and I'd be happy to recommend a system that you might like. Uh, while you're here, like, subscribe, watch a bunch of other videos about client management as well as running a successful creative business. Thanks everyone.